Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the charts of Hero, QSD and GBP, QSD for Monday. If you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So, let's get started. So, my dear friends, this is the forex chart of DXY and DXY US dollar index closed at 106.58. In our previous videos, we discussed about the possibility of DXY staying inside the range and we can see that DXY is in the range only. After the up move for the last couple of days and weeks, DXY is sideways right now. But next week will be very, very important for the market because next week we have many important events. Dollar eases as month in flows way, eyes on Fed and Bank of Japan. Next week we have an important conference of Bank of Japan on Tuesday and we have NFP. As we all know, NFP is a major event. So yes, there will be um, a volatile week. <laughs> so please, yeah, you need to be careful. Okay, now uh, what is the range of DXY right now? D the range of DXY is 107.35 at the top, which is the resistance. And then we have 105.50. So this is the major range of DXY and hopefully DXY will remain within this range for the next uh, for the next one or two days. After NFP, we may see that DXY will be breaking the range and going up. But as of now, there's a high chance that on Monday and Tuesday, DXY will stay inside the range only. This is also a resistance for the market, but I don't think so. The resistance will be working much longer because the major range is 107.35 and 105.50. Now, let's look at the chart of Euro USD. Euro USD. We, we can see that Euro USD is right now trading in an upward channel. But if you look at the overall chart, then obviously there is no doubt that sellers are dominating this market. But right now, market is trying to uh, move up but right but the buying power is not very high here you can see the buying power is missing market is standing at the trend line but still uh, we do not see any good up move or big up move here and you can see i have also placed the question mark because if we observe this particular portion of the chart here you can see that we do not have any uh, proper clarification about the market we don't have a clear picture See, Euro USD may be the most popular currency pair in the world, but we are traders. Our capital is limited. We need to be loyal towards making money, not towards any particular pair. If Euro USD is not giving you any clear sign, then obviously it is better and safer to stay away, isn't it? Euro USD, Euro USD. That doesn't mean that we need to trade Euro USD all the time. If we, if we do not have a proper picture, clear picture, it's better to avoid Euro USD, isn't it? Because it is better not to trade instead of losing money. So try to trade on Euro USD on the levels that you understand properly. Okay, on the chart of Euro USD, though the market is trading inside an upward channel, but I am not convinced with this particular level of the market. So as a result, personally, I will not trade at all. And I will also request everyone that you also try to avoid uh, trading Euro USD in this particular portion of the market because we don't have any clarity. There are multiple opportunities okay, in the market. So why you should be... Um, getting confused in this uh, particular bad situation here isn't it so where are the trading opportunities on euro usd then so if euro usd drops in the market if euro usd drops then we have a support good support around 1.0500 to 1.04 this is the first support on the chart of euro usd where we can look for some good support here so in case euro usd drops observe the market around this area we can expect that market will get some required support if market takes support and bounces we can definitely click on the buy button right now you can see i'm sitting on the four hours time frame but you need to go to the one hour time frame or 15 minutes time frame because the analysis on higher time frame is important for the stability purpose but for entry purpose okay you need to switch to a lower time frame and especially to observe the market behavior. So this is the first support and the second support is around 
to 1.0450 this is the second support on the chart of euro USD. in case there is a sudden drop in the market market start going down with big red candles then this will be the support where you can expect the market uh, to bounce okay you can see here market has shown previous price rejections around this area that's why we are considering these support levels okay. so if market takes support and bounces we can look for a buy around these two areas and these are the levels okay we are getting uh, the um, confidence to trade because after all see it is not possible for us for retail traders like us to understand the market and to predict the market at each and every price level it is not possible for any of us so as a result it is better and safer to trade only on those levels that we understand so on the chart of euro USD, though it is trading inside an upward channel but the market is choppy right now so as a result it is better to avoid here and try to trade on levels that we understand properly if i'm wrong if you uh, think that i have missed out something you can also write down in the comment section i would love to learn from you because uh, we all are students of the market isn't it <laughs> so these are the levels where we can look for a buy position day traders you can also look for a buy around this area 1.0530 but it is not very reliable so it is better to avoid the previous level here 1.0530 but if you see the market is going down with very less volatility then you can expect 1.0530 to work as support for uh, for day traders okay but otherwise okay these are the two levels that we should be focusing secondly okay if you see them instead of market going the market is going up then we can also look for a buy position above this area 1.0608 if market breaks this level here if market breaks uh, the 200 moving average the previous level here then we can consider that okay that the uptrend on the euro usd will continue because overall the market is trading inside the upward channel we can consider that okay upward upside is about to continue and we can look for a buy position because right now you can see that we have 200 moving average we have previous um, support acting as resistance here we have 50 moving average 100 moving okay lots of things are going on here okay so this particular portion of the market is okay looks too messy so it's better to avoid here so when market will be out out of the mess then we can look for some positions it is my opinion i may be wrong with now let's uh, look at the chart of gbp usd then so this is the chart of gbp usd at first let me remove the fibonacci here okay so the major range of gbp usd is still the same here okay. in our previous videos we have talked in detail okay. the major support on the chart of gbp usd right now is 1.2050 to 1.2035 the orange color box here so the major support is still the same here in case market drops we can look for a buy position apart from this uh, support i don't think so that we have any immediate support where we should be looking for buy because after all we also need to think about our hard and money and capital isn't it so if market comes down and bounces we can look for a buy position especially on monday where we do not have much volatility okay where the market prefers to stay slow especially during the first half we can definitely look for some buy position around this area here and if you're looking for some selling opportunities okay the market was sideways and market is sideways so as a result my dear friends we can also look for some selling opportunity here so after drawing FIBO I could see that around 1.2180 around 1.2180 we have got some resistance here first of all we have a resistance for 100 moving average usually in sideways market the moving averages do not work nicely but still we have the presence of 100 moving average and then we have the FIBO we have the FIBO 50% retracement level along with that we also have the previous swing high so if we combine all the factors here around 1.2180 around 1.2185 level we can expect that market will face some resistance and if market reverses we can look for a sell position again you can see that i am sitting on the four hours time frame simply switch to a lower time frame like a one hour time frame or 15 minutes time frame once you see the market has entered the zone observe the market behavior and if market reverses we can look for a sell position the second selling opportunity will be around 1.2230 around 1.2230 
around 1.2230 you can see that we have the the 200 moving average but to be honest okay if the market's volatility remains like this then obviously um, the 200 moving average will be coming down okay in that case in that case the 200 moving average will be around double two double zero or one point uh, double two uh, sorry double two one zero around this level this is a dynamic resistance so i cannot give you the exact number so but still you can observe the market around this zone here and if you see that after hitting the 200 moving average market is showing price rejection from above or if you're seeing or if you see uh, a shooting star kind of a pattern you'll get the confirmation that yes sellers are present and market is facing resistance and you can look for a sell so on the chart of GBP USD, okay, we do not have any strong trend here right now. Market is more or less sideways or choppy. So as a result, we can look for buy as support and sell at resistance. Uh, try to avoid entering in the middle of the chart so that you don't get trapped. So that's all from my side, my dear friends. Hopefully, uh, you guys understood. If you have any questions, you can write down in the comment section. I would love to learn and spend some quality time with your friends and family. Have a happy weekend. And my dear friends, if you're looking for a better broker, then you can consider joining GTC. GTC is not only a regulated broker, but the best part about GTC is that it's also a liquidity provider. So as a result, there is no slippage at that time of news. Yes. We cannot we cannot imagine that okay at the time of news our stop loss is working so in case of gtc it doesn't happen okay it's one of the best broker i have ever come across and the best part is that you also get a fund protection uh spread is quite decent okay and if you open through my link then the broker will provide you one is to two thousand leverage so if, you, if you're looking for a better leverage then yes gtc can be the solution okay there is also a brochure here if you want to know about the company, you can just download a brochure and just go through. Okay. You're most welcome to come aboard. Bye-bye. Take care.